Apparently, some protesters have attempted to block traffic until Burning Man, until um, until the Ranger rammed straight through it. So, as we all know, there's been a lot of stuff with the climate. So apparently, people tried to stop Burning Man, but apparently, it didn't go so well. So, without further ado. Let's get into it. Because I had been scrolling through YouTube when I'd seen this. And then I googled it to see if it was, you know, legitimate. And there was articles about it. So I'm going to play some clips from this video. And then I'll get into it. Because the, you know, the Extinction Rebellion types were actually blocking the road. But the reason I wanted to show this to you is because the Nevada police turned up and have a look at how they dealt with it. <laughs> Turns out there is a reason to have a rhubarb in Nevada. So there you go. The police then came back and they moved everything out of the way. They arrested a couple of the protesters and they were determined, to, obviously, to open up that road. Now, we don't condone any sort of brutality, but these protesters, you've got to deal with them, and the Nevada police certainly did. And I'm not going to lie, I thought that shit was pretty funny. I thought that shit was pretty hilarious. And essentially, I just think it goes to show you that things are getting more stupider by the day. The sheriff just straight rammed through that barricade like nothing. And I just, I just thought it was hilarious. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. And um, I'd really discuss about how it's really demonstrating how the climate stuff from Agenda 21, Agenda 31 is starting to become more prevalent in our everyday lives. And as I've mentioned before, lots of these goals are centered around partnership and peace in strong institutions, which essentially means that there needs to be a sort of global partnership, a collaboration and agreement on these goals. And what this, um, what this protest demonstrates is that United Nations essentially most likely needs to, um, needs to start accelerating their process at which they're trying to meet these goals, if that makes any sense. So essentially, the reason I want to correlate this to Agenda 21 is because if you have two types of groups which disagree over the climate and actions which are beneficial or non-beneficial to the climate, this goes against the Sustainable Development Goals 16 and 17. And really, I've been talking about United Nations a lot. I've been talking about Agenda 21, Agenda 31 a lot. And that's mostly because all of the stuff that we're seeing relating to major events, even relating to economy, because no poverty is part of Agenda 21, everything we're seeing is sort of correlating with these goals that are supposed to be met by 2030. And ultimately, I'm just trying to make the viewer aware because not too many people are aware of these topics. And this is more of an educational video. This is an educational channel. It's an informative channel. It's really meant to help the viewer educate themselves about world topics, science, technology, space, all of that. And we're here to give you a full understanding. So with this activist block traffic into Burning Man, what's really going on is that this is just demonstrating that 
this stuff is starting to become important to people, I guess. And this shows that not only is United Nations and certain countries worried about this stuff already, but this shows that I guess normal people are worried about it too. Now, I don't really care about it. To me, it's not that big of an issue, but the reason I make these videos is to correlate really with the scientific aspects about the ecosystem and how that relates to everything resulting with climate change.